Hello, Hollywood Life readers. I am your senior reporter, Lene Brody, about to go live with T.S. Madison. Um, super excited to chat with her. Um, gonna look out for her request shortly. She's got a new show coming out. Some very exciting things in the works. So I am just looking for a request for up. Oh, so pumped have a nice little box from her which once she tunes in I'm going to hold up. Lene. Oh, hey. oh my god Lene you got one I got one girl I was watching your when you posted on Instagram that you didn't get one right yeah I didn't get one yet oh wait my god. so I I thought we'd open it together yeah let's do it let me see what it's given on the inside okay so first we get the queen's cocktail we get a nice little recipe kit oh. here um then we get oh it looks like some wordisms like a little yes girl queen. Yeah. Okay, I think so the Maryisms the Maryisms oh. is from my mom, Miss Mary. Yes, so she she when she messes up words. <laughs> Queen's cocktail. I know what I'm gonna be enjoying later. Ooh. Yes, after I of course hit Barry's boot camp, and then when I get back. Um, mm. Oh, if you're dehydrated, let's see. What do we have here? We have some. What's in here? Do you know? No, tell me. What is it? Okay, let's see. Oh, these look like dried lemons for the cocktail. I'm assuming. Oh. Okay, so we've got, oh, they smell really nice. We TV, see, girl, you see, really? You see, you see how you teasing me? You see how you teasing me? Oh, wait. Yes, honey, yes. Oh, my God, we are going to, we are, we're in session. <laughs> wait, this is so fun. Okay, then there's there's more. I, how did you not get one? I think I'm going to get one. I think I, Marisol is going to send me one. Um, you know, I, I really wanted to have it so that while I'm sitting at, at home, watching it because I think what I'm going to do after the show premieres on um, Thursday on the 4th I think yes. what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to go live with the cast and then we're going to talk about it for like an hour and then we're going to let it because it's going to come back on at 1 o'clock in the morning okay so, so I want to tell you guys that are watching Marisol I mean Lene is opening up the box that she got for the T.S. Madison experience the screeners box and it got this drink in it. It has my signature drink. It has a gavel. It has Miss Mary isms. Stuff to get your nails done. Oh my gosh. I can like barely open this if you can. What is this like a goblet? Oh my god, is this a goblet for my Yeah, cocktail? it's a goblet, yes. Let me see how big it is. Let me see how big is it. Let me Holy, see. Holy what you're gonna get me on the floor. <laughs> With this. Oh yes. my God! Wait, is there are is there more in here? No, this is just bubble. Okay, so that is the package. Yeah. So what you do is, I want you to, I want you to like bedazzle your goblet, like put all whatever okay. words and say, like, like make your make your goblets out of like stone your goblet and stuff like that. And then I love you, it when you stone I, your goblet. Yes. Yes. When you stone your goblet. Mix up the drink like really good like really good and then sit in front of the TV and watch the T.S. Madison experience March the 4th on WeTV girl it is a lot let me tell you something we had so much fun I watched the first 15 minutes of the show and I was so excited because I get an opportunity to really see you know my life, like I, I like I, I'm, I told them my story. They're making my story. It's my life. They're on the TV, and I'm watching it, and I'm like going crazy because this stuff has happened to me. You guys are getting ready to be on a roller coaster of things, all things TS. You're gonna laugh, laugh. I mean, laugh like crazy, but most of all, you guys are going to love. And I just want people to know that there's so much love that's going on on the show. If the show is a breath of fresh air. It is. Breath of fresh air. We got a little bit of shade. You seen some of it? Girl, I just, I screened the episode. I know people. I got people in places. I screened the first episode. I know what's up. We see each other. <laughs> we see each other. Like, so what did, you, what did you think about the first episode? I, okay, I loved it. it, it you're right. It's so fun. And you know what? You're so real. 
it's so just authentic. Like you are, what you see is what you get on the show. I have a feeling your family, your friends, everyone's the same way. You know, how was it to just kind of like be and put it out there? And also the fact that you started filming this, like when the pandemic hit, I mean, all of us watch things a year later. Like, I don't know about you, but almost any show that I've watched, I'm sitting there like cringing. Like when people are like, I'm going to go out. This is two weeks. Like, Talk to me about all that. Well, I have to tell you that World of Wonder, who's the producer, the producers of the show, and WeTV were very heavy, very heavy on us with our COVID protocols. They were very COVID safe. Like, we were tested almost every other day. Um, we filmed. Uh, they had the, the COVID compliance officers come in and make sure they sprayed the house down and they wow. wiped and cleaned. So we were very, very careful during the taping of the show because, you know, we want everybody, we want to give the T.S. Mass an experience, but we are filming in a pandemic and we want to give the people a good show. Now, right. it did, we did face a few challenges because, you know, just because you're tested doesn't mean that, you know, everybody's following what they're supposed to do. Like, go, go to work and go home. Yes. But, you know, they came to work, they went home. We had a really good time. I mean, listen, the show is, you know what, you've seen the first episode, girl, it is fun. It's so fun. It's so fun. I mean, Tiffany, hello. Like, talk to me about your friendship with Tiffany. And like, she even said to you, she's like, girl, this COVID thing is real. This is real. Like, yeah. she's the one who like really got us being like, oh my God, like this was the beginning. So talk yeah. about your friendship with her. Well, my, I love Tiffany so much because Tiffany stepped in and um, she's, she's, she's step, stepped in and saved you know what i thought was going to be like a little crumbling sex session of my sh of my former show and then like on this show um she came in and well she was supposed to come in yes yeah she was supposed to come in <laughs> yeah and, but the COVID was like the COVID is you know everybody's scared of the COVID. but she's my girlfriend she's like my spirit guide She's my guardian angel in this in this reality world that I'm walking through now because, honey, this is all new to me. Reality TV is new to me. I, even though I've lived my life on the internet, like loud, loud and in color, but this is very new to me. And she's guiding me through. You know, you know, she's an OG. She's the HBIC, honey. Yes, she is. And I have to ask you, speaking of people and friends, do you know Nicki Minaj follows you? Well, Nicki Minaj is my girlfriend. I've done Queen Radio with Nicki Minaj. I could text Nicki Minaj right now and then chop it up with her. That's my girlfriend. Like, you know, we're good Judies. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's I my mean, baby. Are we going to see her on the show? Have you, like, talked to her? Can you tease anything? Um, I did tell her that I, that the show was going on, and she congratulated me on the show. And she said, she told I, her exact words was, um, well, her exact words was, bitch, you better, you know? <laughs> And um, I, who knows, maybe in season two, we'll see her on the show. Nikki has a lot of things going on in her life. She got her documentary documentary coming up on HBO Max. Um, and, you know, she just experienced a traumatic situation in her life where her father was just, you know, killed by, by a, a runaway car. And they thank God that they've caught him. But, you know, oh, he turned himself in. But I would love to have her on the show in the future. Like, she's my girl, and I would love to have her on the show in the future. But she, she did congratulate me, and she gave me support on the show. And, you know, that's my baby. That's my yeah. baby. Did you Are send you her, excited? speaking of baby, did you send her a baby gift? And what um, was it? Well, you know, Nikki was really flooded with gifts, and I wanted to send her the baby gifts, but I don't know the address to send the baby gifts to. <laughs> But she'll be a great mom. We're excited to see her as a mom. Yeah, she's going to be a wonderful mother. She's going to be a wonderful mother. She already mother. is, yeah. Yeah, she's, she's a wonderful mother. Um, She's going to love her baby down. The baby's going to be spoiled to death. You know, it's going to be spoiled to death. Um, And we love her. And I'm telling you, I want her to be on my show because, like, she's a big inspiration for me. Um, She's my baby. Um, she actually was breathing life into the show, like before, and in, 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 even in development. That's my baby, you know? So she inspired you, it sounds yes. like. Yes, she did. Listen, I'm telling you, I want you to stay on the roller coaster of the T.S. Madison experience because it's going to be woof, 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 lots. So I don't know how much you've already seen. I've only seen one episode, but I'm excited to see more. And, you know, I also want to talk to you. Like, you are so 
big in the trans community. I love how you are just really out there. You're you're not afraid to share how you feel. Um, you know, I've got to ask you, like, what do you think, like, people aren't doing that they need to be doing during this time? I feel like it's such a pivotal time, especially with, you know, the latest comments by Donald Trump yesterday. Like, yeah. what do you think about all that? And, like, what do you think people still need to be doing? Because you're making sure that your voice is heard. Well, I, I think that people need to be making sure that get to know a trans person. I mean, we're all human beings. I think we need to 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 make sure that we're looking at trans people as human beings because that that's what what we're lacking a lot in the world right now, and 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 a lot of the stigma that's tied around around trans people comes from from hate or and it comes from just not knowing. Right. And get to know a trans person before you make judgments on how you know you think trans people are. Get to know one. I think that's that's what that's what people need to be doing, and they can definitely get to know one by watching the T.S. Madison experience, honey, because we are wild, we are loud, loud and in color, and we're only here to love and laugh. Yeah. yeah, and I love I love that. Like Mama Mary was reading that letter in the first episode um, from the church. And, you know, talk to me kind of about that. You know, your mom said that she had a son and now she has a daughter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How has that strengthened your relationship maybe over the years? Well, my mother told me that God told her to stop fighting with her child and love her child. And she said when she when she followed that voice, our relationship uh, got so much better. Now, my mother is one of the strongest uh, points in my life. And, you know, she actually keeps me grounded when I want to go all off the ha handle. And my mother, my mother has instilled God in me, even though I don't follow religion. Mm -hmm. I have a relationship with God. Um, I'm glad that when God spoke to her and told her to stop bickering with me and love me, love it and it made our relationship strong. It it is it is open a place now that I feel so good in my life that my mother's on me with this with the latter part of my journey because she wasn't there in the first part because I'm the one that shed her out because of the bickering that we had going on and I'm just so happy that God spoke to her and she listened. I love that. I love that. And, yeah. you know, like I said, it's such a pivotal time. Like, do you have any thoughts on, like, the Equality Act and, like, what's happening really in this country right now? And, you know, with, with women's sports as well. Like, what what kind of – where would you like to see things go? Well, I would I would really like to see people treat trans people as human people. That's what I really would like to see. And I think that that's where we need to start first. It's just like humanizing mm -hmm. trans people. And I know it sounds like a, the, the same answer to the question that you asked me before, but this is what we're lacking um, with with people relating to trans people. Um, I think that in, in sports, I don't know really too much about that. But what I do know is that we want equality for us as trans women and um, we want to be, we don't want to be kept out of things, you know, and I just think that we need to be seen as human beings. And that's, okay. that, that is step one into, you know, fixing all of this mess that's going on in the country between trans people and cis people. Right. Right. Trans I mean rights. That's right. Trans rights are human rights. Right, right. And I, you know, and again, it's like, I don't want to get too political on you, but I feel like you are just so powerful in this community. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I, you, you really are like an internet queen, like you dub yourself. So when, when you hear someone like, I mean, we have so much positive change happening now that we have a new president in the White House. But, you know, when you hear Donald Trump making these like awful claims, like I have to ask, like, how does that make you feel and, and what does that make you, you know, want to get out and do? Well, it makes me angry because, you know, I don't like the fact that they try to use people to fuel, uh, they use trans people to try to fuel, fuel propaganda, you know, and it's just like, you, you, you're using this whole trans thing as a way to get votes. It's like they're clout chasing. That's mm -hmm. just basically what it is because, the trans is the new trans baby, you know, <laughs> and, 
and and they're clout chasing off of these things and and they're they're trying to pander to people who possibly don't even know a trans person possibly who's never had the opportunity to get to know a trans person and so you know for me i think that you know it's it's it makes me feel it angers me however I have to be the change in the world. Right. And this is why that my voice is loud, loud and in color. And this is why the, the WeTV is green lighting, giving me a, a television show to yeah. show a great positive, loving side of trans people, which we already are as right. it is. Right. Yeah. And you guys, this show is so fun. It's so fire. It's so natural. What else are we going to see this season? Um, you know, that maybe you ha you're so open about your life, but what can we see on the T.S. Madison experience that fans are going to get excited about? Um, I think fans are going to get the opportunity to see me transition again. And, and I don't mean transition as far as the way I look, but I mean transition as far as my mindset and um, where I'm going with the latter part of my life because I'm 43 years old. Girl, come on. Girl. You know, like, when I was younger, I had thoughts of, 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 of minuscule thoughts. Now that I'm older, I have bigger dreams and bigger thoughts. And the people are going to be able to ride that wave and that roller coaster with me. Um, they're going to see me um, try to have a relationship with my dad. Okay. And I think that that's very important because, um, you know, I, I feel like that family is the most important thing. Because without your family as a trans person, you get introduced to the dark world. And sometimes you just need that shielding of your parents, of your mother and your father. And in this, this season, they'll, they'll see me trying to get that space. Like, as old as I am, I still want to have a, a, that relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and like I said, I, I watched it and I just was like, what you see is what you get. That's you it. don't hide anything. It's a very fresh breath of air in this day and age. And congratulations also on being the first Black trans woman to produce your own show. What does that mean to you, especially in 2021? Did you ever think this day would come? Oh, honey, listen, it means that, you know, I'm a part of Black history. It, it means that, you know, I'm paving a way for young girls, older girls, for girls to come. I'm leaving the door open so that, you know, we can move forward and, 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 and throw away some of the old things that we were bound to because we didn't have opportunities provided to us. And I am so excited to see what the future brings for the girls. And I'm happy to be one of the girls that stuck the key in the door and opened it up for them. Somebody that did it for me. Somebody did it for me. And I'm, I'm so glad to do it for somebody else. That must mean so much to you, um, you know, and, and also you were recently a guest judge on RuPaul's, RuPaul's Drag, Race. Drag Race. Yes, girl. So what was that like kind of being on the other side of things? Listen, I am a super fan of Drag Race. Uh, uh, RuPaul is mother. That's, that's my, that's my, that's the all knowing, all powerful. That's the thing. You know, I love Ru. And it was so surreal to sit there in that seat and judge a show that I've been watching for the past mm -hmm. 12 years. Wow. And I'm sitting here and like when Rue comes around the corner and, uh, and it's like, do, 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 do. And he says, <laughs> and it's just like, it's happening. Like I'm sitting there like, oh my God, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. And then I'm watching the girls compete and this is a real show. Like, this isn't a produced up show. This is a real show. These girls are competing for this $100,000 and to be the next drag superstar. And I'm there giving my critiques and, and, and just, listen, I have given a lot to Drag Race over the years. Drag Race has been quoting me for the past 11, 12 years. They've been quoting the TS. You know, that step you pussy up. Honey, they've been quoting me for that for years. So for that to, for me to sit there in that place and like my catchphrases and Rue says my catchphrases back to me, it was just, it was just a full Surreal. circle moment. And Surreal. I, just was, I was fangirling like, ah, oh but my, I was, but I was still in the seat trying to hold it together. But girl, I just wanted to scream. <laughs> That's so exciting. I know you've got to get going. You're a very busy woman. The T.S. Madison Experience 
premieres this Thursday, March 4th at 10 p.m. on WeTV. Really quickly, tell us what we can expect. We have Miss Mary, Chi Chi, you, Tiffany. Tell everyone what they can expect. Listen, you, you can ex you can expect all that loving stuff from Miss Mary and, and her fucking up a word, honey. You know she'll tear a word up, Miss Mary, with all her Miss Maryisms. Um, you can expect uh, Chi Chi to be loud, loud and in color. My daughter that loves to smoke a joint. Oliver, my quirky daughter that gets my things together, honey, that makes me look good on the TV screen and the internet. We got Craig the writer Stewart, honey, who is who's a, who talks a bunch of trash and don't do nothing, but I love him like a fat chick loves cake. And then we just got <laughs> Tiffany New York Parlor who guides me through all of this stuff and my next level of what I'm doing. And I'm so excited for you guys to tune in to the T.S. Madison Experience. Yes. Cheers to TV. you. Yes. Everybody, one more time. It premieres this Thursday, WeTV, 10 p.m. T.S. Madison Experience. T.S. Madison, thank you so much for joining us. I cannot wait to decorate my goblet. I'm going to yes. tag you so you can Thank you, know thank you, baby. Thank you for having me. And hopefully I'll see you again. Love I you. I hope so. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.